Thanks for staying with us. I'm Laura Ingram, in for Bill O'Reilly. In the Factor follow-up segment tonight, as we told you last night, the Journal News, a New York area newspaper, is facing intense criticism after the outfit posted a map on its website showing the names and addresses of local gun permit holders. Well, now a very funny blogger has turned the tables on the paper and published the names and addresses of the Journal News publisher and the reporter who wrote the story and several other members of the paper staff. Joining us now from Dallas, Fox News contributor Mike Gallagher, the author of the book 50 Things Liberals Love to Hate, and from Orlando, First Amendment attorney Lawrence Walters. I must say I smiled uh, when I learned about what this blogger did and was mad that I didn't think of it first. Uh, but uh, is this is this good for the, good for the goose? Good for the gander, Gallagher? I mean, this move to publish the names of the gun permit holders set the blogosphere on fire and Twitter, of course, because people think, wait a second, it's trying to intimidate the people clearly who are lawful yeah. gun owners. Go ahead. I mean, I, I, I understand the merits of his argument, Laura, but I think it's a really ugly business to start getting into publishing people's personal addresses. I mean, the guy, the blogger is right. He's pointing out the hypocrisy uh, of what these anti-gun zealots are, are, are trying to do. But on the other hand, I, I think it's a, I mean, we should have learned something from stalkers and people who can show up on somebody's doorstep. Surely there's a way to argue this, this issue on the merits. I mean, the anti-gun nuts are only using Newtown as an opportunity to, to, to advance their agenda. Agenda, but I, I don't think it's a real good idea for for, for our our side, meaning the second the pro Second Amendment side, to kind of go uh, crawling around in the gutter with with those guys and do the same thing. So I, I think it's a point. very bad. Argue business. the point on the merits. Argue the point on the merits. Don't get into the game of, of publishing right. names. All right. Well, you're nice. All right. Let's go to uh, Mr. <laughs> uh, let's go to Mr. Walters here. Uh, so what, what's the deal here? Is there anything wrong with doing that? I mean. Look, privacy is privacy in public figures. You know, we want privacy, but in the end, someone wants to find out where you live. They can find out where you live. Uh, but the gun issue is different, right? Because that's not readily available, that information. You kind of have to hunt around for that, get a FOIA request of some sort to the state and uh, find out where the guns are. But the, the newspaper editors, uh, they're not happy here. Well, there's two issues here, really, two aspects to the debate. One is legally, you know, was it legal to do this? Were any laws broken? And the First Amendment would clearly protect the rights to publish the information about the names and addresses on both sides, both the blogger and the newspaper. Uh, while the, the information might require some digging, it is public information. It was released in response to a FOIA request. So, you know, once that's released, it's readily available public information. The First Amendment, freedom of the press, would protect that. But then there's also the, the ethical issue. You know, was it responsible for either side to do it? Just because you have information as a journalist doesn't necessarily mean that you should publish it. And this is where journalistic ethics should have come into play and maybe cooler heads should have prevailed. Um, and certainly we, we don't need to uh, allow both sides to ratchet this debate up and use the Newtown shootings as a, a means to, to create further divide between the two sides on the gun debate. It might have been better, and just thinking about this, Gallagher, for the, for the blogger to say, how would you like it if your names were published. I mean, we have right. your name. I mean, we have your addresses. That's how I would have done it on Twitter. We have your yeah, addresses, I mean, make it, make but we're not going to release yeah, make them it. because we have yeah, ethics and you don't. Yeah, you, we could we could say, you know, listen, we, we have access to it. We can play that right. game. Two can play that game. But let's not actually play that game because now you've got a bunch of people who are vulnerable and exposed yeah. to any crazy out there who wants to Excellent find them. It's point. just a bad idea. It's a bad practice. Excellent point. And when you look at this, the, the way this debate is going, right, it's not surprising because the, the, those who really have a deep commitment to the Second Amendment, uh, they're very concerned when they start looking at the details of Dianne Feinstein's bill. She was the original, one of the original authors of the original assault weapons ban in 1994. Right. Uh, and her website has a, a number of different uh, points uh, outlining what she's going to do with her new legislation. And it goes quite a bit beyond the original assault weapons ban, which we know didn't really have that much of an effect on uh, a, a gun crime in the United States. Uh, so people are very worried. And they're worried about fingerprinting and the gun registries and all the rest. They're concerned, so it's no surprise, is it, uh, Mr. Walters, that this kind of thing would happen. People are very mad about this. Yeah, the, this, uh, the shootings have sparked outrage on both sides. Both sides. And it's, it's no surprise. Yeah, both sides. And, and that's why you see these, you know, these kind of outrageous publications coming out. Um, and it's, it's, it's not the end of it, unfortunately. You know, it would be nice if, if we could take it down a notch and you know, have a reasoned debate on what With would facts. best protect kids. Well, here's the yeah. problem is liberals don't want to listen to facts on gun crime. 
They need no, to read John no Lott's book. Laura. They need to read Gary Kleck's study. And they need to understand that there have been professors that have been fired, like uh, Professor Belisle's, for fabricating information on gun facts. Remember, so we don't want to talk hey, about Laura, facts. Right. Remember what Rahm Emanuel once said, they, they never want to let a crisis go to waste. You know, they're trying to use Bingo. this to advance an agenda, and it's pathetic. Bingo. Gentlemen, thanks so much.